Hello, today I will teach you the basics of Microsoft Word. To begin with, go down to the Microsoft Word icon and double click. A new blank document will appear. To begin typing, click anywhere along the blank document and a blinking cursor will appear. There are, there are several ways to move your cursor. You can press the enter key to go down, the delete key to go back up, or simply click anywhere along the document. The cursor is used to indicate where your text will appear. Also, as you are typing, Word automatically checks for any gra potential grammar or spelling errors. As an example, resource is spelled incorrectly and therefore there is a red wavy line underneath to indicate a potential spelling error. To correct the spelling error, simply right click the word and then a list of potential options will appear. For this example, the first word resources is the correct spelling. Simply click on the word and the word will automatically correct it for you. Once you have your text, you can also choose to add emphasis to information you find important. To do so, highlight the text, go to the home tab, and then there is a variety of options that can be used to bring attention to a certain text. For this example, we will bold the text, underline it, and then increase the font size. As well as being able to add emphasis, you can also add elements to your document. To do so, go to the Documents element, Document Elements tab, and then there's, once again, a variety of options to choose from, which include a header, footer, page number, footnote, etc. For this example, we will add a header. So you could choose whatever format you'd like, and then simply enter your text. Once you are completed entering, you have completed entering your text, simply close. Also, there's many graphics that you could add to your document, which could include a picture, table, chart, etc. For this example, we will use a smart art graphic. To do so, click on the smart art tab, and a list of options will appear. So when your smart art graphic appears, you can either choose to enter the text directly into the text box or go to the upper left hand corner and enter the text all at once. Now if there are any excess text boxes left over in your graphic art that you do not desire, you can simply delete them by clicking the delete, delete key. Now exit out of your text pane and resize your graphic art any way you'd like. You can increase the size or decrease the size simply by dragging one of the corners inward or outward. Now once your document is completed, you can choose to save it. To do so, go, go to the upper left hand corner and click on the save icon. Now Microsoft Word gives you the option to rename your document and we will leave it named Human Resources. And then you can choose either an existing folder or a new folder to place your document in. And then simply click save. Now that you have saved your document, it is safe to exit out. I hope that this video was informative and can help you the next time you use Word document.